We are so very pleased to have as one of our honored guests this afternoon, Karen Kaler. Karen attended the University of Tennessee as an undergraduate and a graduate student studying art and communication design. She went on to found a design firm, working primarily with nonprofits and social service agencies. In addition to her professional career, Karen is mother of two sons and has performed extensive volunteer work. Since moving to Minnesota with her, with, uh, her husband, President Kaler, she has particularly enjoyed volunteering at the Amplatz Children's Hospital here at the University of Minnesota with Habitat for Humanity and with the university's parent orientation program. Karen. Hello, I'm delighted, let's see, I'm short, but uh, delighted. I'm delighted to be with all of you here today. And um, for those of you who are in the other four sessions today, um, I trust and expect that your sessions were as enlightening and really encouraging as the one I was in to hear about the wonderful work that's going on. Um, I'm gonna be very brief because if you looked at, the, at who is speaking to you during this session, the other four speakers, we have two wonderful childhood, um, early childhood professionals. We have a um, distinguished professor and founding director of SEED. We have a university president and we have me. Um, I'm a graphic designer. So all of you early childhood people are thinking, which of these is not like the others, right? <laughs> you know, when I was asked to speak to you, I don't even um, think they knew that I have done extensive work in early childhood education as a graphic designer through um, for, for programs for um, early, um, early intervention, a birth to three program in Delaware, um, the birth to five, um, kids count. So I've been very involved in this, but I was asked to speak to you because what is known is that I know how critically important these early years are and that I really like little bitty people. <laughs> um, yeah, I adore children and I do look at children and think we must develop the potential of every one of these children. We don't know which child could be the one to grow up to cure cancer or to uh, create world peace or to lead the gophers to the Rose Bowl next. <laughs> so it's, it's very important we, um, we care for and develop all of our children. A lot of people do know that I volunteer at the University of Minnesota Amplatz Children's Hospital because my husband likes to tell people that Friday's a happy day because I go and hold babies and I always feel good, you know, it's a real, you know, soothes the soul to get to hold a, a little bitty one. Um, I also have always been fascinated by toddlers that two and three year olds, if you could have a conversation with them and all the things they have already learned and can tell you about is amazing. However, those of you in this room know the sad truth. There are some two and three year olds that are already behind. They already have these discrepancies in their language and their knowledge acquisition. And without help, without changing that, over time, these gaps will just get greater. You know, I, I truly believe that we cannot successfully address the achievement gap without paying close attention to our very earliest learners. That's why we're here today to celebrate SEED. 40 years of this work of applied research program and policy development, and getting successful programming into the community through professional development. To all of you, all of you who are doing this important work, I applaud you, and on behalf of the little bitty people, I thank you. <laughs> 